the fourth unit, communication for success. This is the first lesson, determining your personal brand to achieve success in communication. Uh, the lesson objectives, determine the role of values and identify your brand. The first thing to be clearly communicated is your brand, but not your company brand, but your own personal brand. The idea is not to brag about your achievements or promote a self-inflated image. What you should do is to communicate to the people you interact with who you are and what makes your individual personality. By now, you should know how to appropriately manage your emotions as well as what your social style is. This knowledge should have already helped you flex in your communication. Yet, your communication should reflect your authenticity as well. Before proceeding further, let's do the following. Imagine you have to brand yourself. Write down five words that describe you best. Then ask somebody close to you to do the same thing. That is, write five words that describe you best. Compare your words and the ones of your friend. Do all words coincide or not? What is the reason for that? Quite often, the way we think we are and the way others see us can differ. There can be many reasons for that. One of them is that people can't see your true self. That means that in your interactions, you lack authenticity as if you were afraid to show your true self because you think it is not what the others would expect to see in you. Just keep in mind that this is what you think and not what the others think. We have already seen that such thoughts can be socially acquired and that they can form a serious barrier in our communication. But why is it so important to be true to yourself, to be authentic? One reason is that being true to yourself is at the core of successful communication. This will help you deliver the message in a way that is comfortable for you, feels part of you, allows you to be invested in it emotionally as well as intellectually. If you take on another persona that is not in line with your core beliefs and values, you will fail, fail to genuinely connect with people you interact with. You can lose your credibility and you can end up uh, losing your addressees who won't be able to relate to you or to your story. What should be done? You should accept and embrace your persona that will make your brand. This is how you manage to safeguard your credibility. The question that you can ask yourself is, how can I identify my persona? By determining what your core values are. Believe it or not, but your values are the ones that should be at the root of your core message you want to communicate. Your values are the ones that will help you feel comfortable and at ease while communicating your message because they will feel part of you. In this way, you will be able to in be invested in your uh, communication, both emotionally and intellectually. This will help you get to your audience who will be able to see your true self and connect with you. Renee Brown believes that we don't fully see people until we know their values. But how difficult can it be to determine one's values, that is, one's way of believing that what is really important in life? A no-brainer, right? Let's see, shall we? I'd like you to go to Brene Brown's Dare to Lead list of values, which can be accessed on her website. You can see that the list consists of 117 values and that you have the possibility to insert your own in, in case you see that it is missing. Uh, the researcher challenges to pick up only two values that we think are the most important. The task is quite challenging. In fact, Brene Brown says that people usually pick up up to 10 or 15 values. I personally picked up 17, which I literally thought to be the most important in my life. Yet the scholar states that if everything on the list is important, then you don't have a, a, a value. Uh, you can stop for a while and then come back. While choosing the value or the two values, uh, you can ask the following questions. Does this define me? Is this who I am at my best? I also did this work and it was quite challenging. As I have already mentioned, I selected 17 values. I had to decide which are really the most important. That implied self-reflection and analysis. 
I also kept in mind the questions mentioned above. I came up with courage and curiosity as top two values. However, I couldn't decide between curiosity and fairness. I then realized that I actually stay embedded in my values of courage and fairness, although I highly value uh, curiosity. Now, how do these values translate into my communication? I'm brave enough to speak on a difficult topic, making sure that I'm also fair to myself and others. I'm brave enough to listen to criticism, even if I might disagree with it, I think that the people have the right to differ. To differ. So my sense of fairness helps me see that the other person has the right to think differently. I'm also uh, brave enough to oppose bullying, as I think this is not fair to anyone. And the list of behaviors can go on. I'm pretty sure you can identify your own behaviors that are rooted in your values. Now, what happens if I don't stay true to myself, that is, to my values? Uh, if, for example, I'm not brave enough to take feedback, I lose my credibility as a communicator. And uh, I might uh, um, slip into a behavior outside my value. I won't feel comfortable as the message will not seem to be part of me. I won't be emotionally and intellectually invested in it. And I won't be able to connect with my audience. Moreover, I might end up adopting either passive or rather aggressive communication style becoming offensive, which is a sure way of communication failure. It's a good exercise you can do. Try to determine your core two values that are embedded in all your behaviors and observe what happens when you sleep in behaviors outside your values. What communication style you have. It's impossible to be assertive if you are not aligned to your values. Another important point is that you can't separate your core values into professional and personal. Values can't be shifted based on context. In Brene Brown's words, we are called to live in a way that is aligned with what we hold most important regardless of the setting or situation. Now let's see what are some lesson takeaways. It is crucial to be true to yourself in your communication as this is uh, what is at the core of the message. Uh, you should be able to identify one, um, at least maximum two values to be able to uh, communicate your brand. Your core values are embedded in, your, in all your behaviors, including the way you communicate with others. When slipping into behaviors outside your values, you lose your true self and you lose credibility or you can be perceived as being fake.